Catholic Daily Mass Readings, January 8, 2023, The Epiphany of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your lights, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They are all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you, and wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Chomitaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba, shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Sheba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, but it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. Since from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. 
he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed of seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.